What's up guys and welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Emily. I've been shuffling for almost four years now. I've taught countless people how to shuffle through online tutorials, one-on-one -on -one lessons, and classes. So today I thought it'd be fun to give you guys feedback on your shuffling videos. I'll be reacting, making notes, and giving you guys little critiques. So I had you guys submit them and I'm just gonna get back to as many as I possibly can, but let's jump in. So first up we have Shan. Ooh, she vibing, she feeling it. Great song choice. I love the ending there, so freaking cute. Okay, first of all, vibe, energy of it, so good. The Running Man and T-Step and the overall sort of like floaty look of it looks really, really good. Couple of notes that I have, I felt like you could have maybe added in some different moves, maybe some more spins, some kicks, something in there to just kind of spice it up and make it not look so, so repetitive. So at about like 11 seconds in, your head is already turned in the direction that you're about to face. So when we're dancing, right, we're dancing with our whole body and every little detail matters, including the way that you're looking. It's similar to how when people are first learning how to shuffle and they look down at their feet a lot and then looking up kind of just gives it a whole finished look and makes it look a lot more polished. Same thing here, really think about where you're looking when you're dancing because I think it will just make your style look a whole lot cleaner. And then one more note I have with it, I'm loving that you're using like your upper body and your arms to kind of flow and feel it. You have these like chest pops that you're doing, maybe just bring it all together, make it a little bit more controlled and tight and I think that will really take it to the next level. And you actually said in the note to me that you want advice on making your rocking and T-step and running man look more smooth. I really think it's all in your upper body making it look more controlled. I really think that that's the key. Cause if you look at your lower body, it looks smooth. I think you just need to work on that control in your upper body. Next up we have Haley. Ooh, I like the intro. I love that. I really, really love how you're taking up space and traveling with your running man. It really looks so clean, so effortless, so smooth. And then one of my other favorite parts is when you little do the little foot tuck behind your knee and then do the spin. Such good musicality, kind of using those pauses and that space to break up your shuffling. Now, if I had to give you critiques, so first off, your style is very like soft and sort of flowy and I love that. But I think sometimes with like your T-step, your like tapping foot is more of just kind of like a really subtle tap. And I think you could more focus on like stepping it down and just exaggerating it a little bit more. And then another thing, when you're doing some of the glides, it feels like your gliding foot, uh, the heel is coming up a little bit. So I would really focus on trying to keep that gliding foot as flat as possible. And I also think like maybe next steps for you would be to continue adding in more of those like pauses and musicality bits where you kind of tucked your knee or the scoops that you did. Like I loved those. All right, next up we have Angela. <laughs> Oh, 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 
video it looks like you're just vibing out and having a really good time and the glide spin you did in there was really really smooth I really really liked that if I had to critique you I'm not positive if this is just the video but it does look like you're a little bit off beat so really focus on really hitting those running mans really crisply to the beat because that's what makes shuffling look really good if you need to dance to slower music to really get that feel for it one thing I would focus on is your t-step and rocking it looks like one you're kind of leaning a little bit when you're doing the t-step and also not really like exaggerating that tapping stepping foot it's kind of more just like lightly tapping on the ground so really try and emphasize that step and that tap down just a little bit more and try not to lean when you're doing the t-step and then with your running man and particularly when you're trying to like travel with it I think sometimes you're taking too wide of a step out try to make those adjustments a little bit smaller because that's really what's gonna make it look like we're floating around and also gonna make sure that we keep our running man crisp a good running man goes a long long way all right next up we have Ashley song choice also that view I want to shuffle there I also think that spin you did that like running man spin looked so crisp so clean a couple things that I noticed it seems as though at the beginning you were very on tempo and maybe towards the end you got a little tired kind of started to fall off a little bit when you're starting to get tired like that something I would recommend doing is adding in like pauses or like holds to kind of allow yourself to catch your breath a little bit. You can add in moments where you kind of like vibe out and do something different to kind of break up your shuffling. It will look more appealing. It'll also allow you to kind of catch your breath so you can then get back into it when it drops again. So I think you're running in and you're rocking back and forth, like you have that down. And I really love that moment where you added in the spin. So maybe try adding in more of those to kind of break up the running man and the rocking, whether it be a spin or like I said, moments where you kind of just like vibe out, do something different. I think little things like that would really, really take it to that. Next level. Next up we have Emma. <laughs> really feel the moments where you're really feeling it and even when you kind of like maybe messed up a little bit like you kept going and got right back into the vibe a couple of things that I noticed when you do kind of like the little grapevine move little stutter step where you kind of step to the side it looks good but what I would add in to kind of complete the movement is add in a little bit of that chest with it so when you like step forward kind of lean into it then step back and then forward back and then I think this bit right here where you kind of go heel toe, heel toe, on one side you kind of hit that heel toe really well, but I think on the other side you kind of just land your foot flat. So really kind of making sure you're even on both sides with that movement. But I think I really like the contrast of when you're really feeling it and you're going kind of hard and then like the softer movements where you're kind of slowing it down a little bit. So overall, great video. Next up we have Julia. I did lessons with Julia like during quarantine and I've watched this girl come so freaking far it's incredible so let's jump into it <laughs> I'm 
so impressed just like with how clean your running man has gotten. I'm loving some of these combos, especially the one where you like kick back and then go into that little crescent glide. A couple of critiques I have. One is with the, the pump spin. It looks like you lose a little bit of momentum. And I think that's because of the way that you kind of prepare to go into the move. So you step your foot out, but you're kind of already going into the turn once you've stepped. Try like really using your whole body to like wind up more into the spin before you push off and turn around. Also another thing I like to do to help build my momentum, I'll actually start out doing a running man spin because doing that, I start the running man spin, I'm already going this direction and then I continue it into the pump spin. Also another sort of nitpicky thing that I noticed when you go from like the flutter kick glide, I would try to land the foot that tucks a little bit more on your toe and then I would try to keep your gliding foot a little bit more flat Flat. And then a couple other things I noticed, really small minor details, but I would try keeping your chest up and like shoulders back a little bit more. Kind of just go like this, like pinch your shoulder blades together. And then also too, I think sometimes like when you're doing your rocking, kind of using your shoulders a little bit more, particularly when you're like stepping across your body, kind of use your shoulder to kind of point across your body as well. Next up we have Ariana. <laughs> Love that you added in your dance background to your shuffling and just really made it feel so unique and so you. I loved it. Now for critiquing some notes that I have just to kind of bring it all together. When you do the kick, you kind of go into the diamond crisscross. There I might have gone like back into the running man. I think it just would have looked a little bit smoother. And then another note I have is with your crisscross. I would try bending your knees a little bit more. Your legs just look a little bit straight, but overall really beautiful flow. I'm loving like the contemporary dance thrown in with it. And I think that just kind of connecting those a little bit more and making the transition a little bit more seamless will be so beautiful. Next up we have Fed. Fed is a mile high shuffler and I have seen him shuffle quite a bit and come so far. So I'm excited to see what this video is. so much. So I think for me personally, I would like to see you sit a little bit longer in any one individual move. I think sometimes it just feels like you're going very quickly to one thing to the one thing to the next. And I don't think we fully get to like enjoy or see you like sit in a certain movement. Another thing I notice is like sometimes when you're sort of like T-stepping and tapping around, I notice your back foot doesn't always move too much, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that sometimes I think that would exaggerate your movements a little bit more. That way it doesn't just look like you're just tapping around. It makes it look more like you're bloating. But Fed, you've come so far, so. We love to see the growth. We love it. Am I sweating? No, okay. Last video, we've got Becky. Let's go, Becky. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. Mm, let's go. Ooh, I like that little two step. Yeah. 
Really, really love the energy in this one, especially the little, little camera thing. Ooh, that got me. And your moves look really, really good. Um, I think I have like a few notes. Biggest thing overall is this is kind of like a slower tempo song and you dance for a while, like a full minute plus. I mean, I don't know, this is the only video I'm seeing right now, but I would really try dancing to a faster song as well because you've definitely got the energy for it. It might be more challenging and I don't know, this might just have been a video that you liked again, but I definitely would try, try doing a faster song because you definitely have it in you. I think when you do little Charleston, I would try bending your knees a little bit more. When you go into the spin, these spins are hard and sometimes they don't always hit, but my tip would be to prepare for it so you're kind of already turning your body before you even start the spin. I would really try and prepare a little bit better. Step onto that foot a little bit more and then push off when you go into the spin. And then also instead of kicking behind you, make sure you're kicking in front of you because you're gonna have more control when your leg is in front of you than if you're kicking behind you. I love that little T-step move, like the stationary T-step that looked really, really good. And then this move where you kind of like pivot back and forth, I call that move the pendulum on the shuffle vault. I would try turning your body a little bit more. Right now it just kind of looks like you're stepping behind you on either side. I think the hips really emphasize that move. And then yeah, similar notes on those moves as you continue, but overall, solid. Thanks to everyone who submitted their videos. And if you did submit one, I am going to try my best to get back to you, whether you were featured on the video or not, because I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want me to do more like it. And remember, if you want to learn more shuffling moves, go to theshufflevault.com. I also am going to start doing one-on-one -on -one lessons again. There's a link down below. I love you guys though. Have a great rest of your day.